finally emo 90s breakup. <laughs> <laughs> Step one. After the unbearable numbness wears off, cry everywhere. <laughs> Yesterday, I walked around in the rain crying for seven hours. It felt really dramatic, but because it was raining, no one could see the tears, so I made sobbing noises anytime someone walked by. <laughs> Step two, gather up all the things in your home that remind you of the person who left. Put them in a creepy sort of pile in your living room and sit in the center for a full day, occasionally picking one out and smelling it to rouse a memory. <laughs> Appropriate items for collection include... My dashboard confessional t-shirt that you wore to some nights. Your favorite coffee mug. Dryer lint from the last time you did laundry at our house. It's so cute how you never separated your colors, so the lint is a sort of sad, pathetic mixture of colors that turns out gray like my soul. <laughs> <laughs> toenail clippings. I was lucky enough to find because you used to cut your toenails on the coffee table, and I said it drove me up the wall, but if you just come back, you can cut your toenails on my face if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> I cut my hair and dyed it black. I hope the color never comes back. You took all the colors with you when you walked out that door. The sunset is now just bleeding ink in the sky. There's no beauty in rainbows, they're just lines. <laughs> Even double rainbows hold no magic. You want to know what it means? It means I'm fucking sad. I wear black every single day, especially to social events like brunch. <laughs> on my heart that will probably never come out. I will just live forever as your soiled, discarded underpants left lying on our bedroom floor for the dog to chew on. Just so you know, our dog doesn't miss you. <laughs> Step five. Remind yourself that the person left you. Remove all traces of that from your life. Do not forget the shrine you have absentmindedly made of their hair you've been finding in the drain and collecting on the shower wall. <laughs> The other day I found one of your hairs on my pillow. I considered having it surgically implanted next to my heart like a gravestone of dying hope. And by surgically, I mean I would use the knife you used to stab me in the back to cut open a little tiny piece of my chest and bury it in there next to my dream of ever being happy again. And hopefully, the dirty job you did of the stabbing and subsequent sterile implement would cause it to rankle and create an infection that would spread into my already festering heart. <laughs>
again like a memorial to the death of your sex life. We used to make love on the kitchen floor, whipped cream and chocolate sauce. Now I just dump chocolate sauce all over the floor and sit in it eating hungry man dinners. <laughs> Except even in my despondent condition, I would never eat that shit. It's Annie's organic mac and cheese and I eat it right out of the pot with my hands. And I don't want the world to see me. <laughs>